Hi, this is uh, U.S. Representative Rick Larson. I am in the Everett office, the international headquarters for the 2nd Congressional District here in Everett, Washington. And this is the weekly recap with Rick from the ninth floor of the Wall Street Building in downtown Everett. So a lot happened over this last week. I just actually finished a Facebook Live event with researchers and physicians from the Fred Hutch uh, Research Center to talk about progress on vaccines and therapeutics. And you can go to my website, uh, my Facebook site, or my YouTube site, uh, facebook.com backslash rep Rick Larson to watch the full recording of that. It was another busy week in Washington, D.C. The House passed the final Defense uh, Authorization Act, the National Defense Authorization Act. The Senate uh, today passed um, it as well by a vote of 84 to 13, uh, very much a veto-proof uh, majority. So now we'll see what the President does to a bill that strengthens national security, that gives our women and men in the military and DOD civilians a pay raise. It boosts diversity in the military. Uh, we take the first steps finally to rename bases named after Confederate traitors uh, uh, of this country as well. We extend real-time sound monitoring uh, deadlines um, and in an in a effort to be sure we get good, uh, good data from our sound monitoring at NAS Whidbey Island and increase impact aid for, uh, for local school districts like Oak Harbor. We fund the cleanup of uh, these forever chemicals, like PFAS and PFOA, and uh, important, provide a long overdue expansion of health coverage for Vietnam era veterans impacted by uh, Agent Orange. Also this week, uh, we passed the final Water Resources Development Act, or what we call WERDA. It's uh, basically, a, think of it as a shoreside infrastructure investment to help create jobs in Port of Everett and Port of Seattle, uh, and Port of Anacortes, and Port of Tacoma, and others will all benefit from this bill. And so and it's now over the Senate, and I think we'll be able to see them pass that fairly soon as well. Uh, Congress still has to pass a comprehensive COVID-19 relief package, and I'm ready to fly back to D.C. at any time to vote on that. Negotiations do continue, even though uh, many members of Congress are in their home districts this week. Um, we can participate online uh, over the phone to get our in, to get our input into the negotiations. Uh, and we've listed uh, the My Pandemic Relief Priorities on the website, on my website, and you can go there to see that letter. And just a reminder, um, open enrollment uh, continues through the 15th of December. You can go to wahealthplanfinder.org uh, if you're interested in um, purchasing or changing health care coverage uh, in our state. Uh, you can uh, have to get that done by December 15th so you can get health and dental coverage um, that will begin on January 1. Finally, uh, a happy Hanukkah uh, to uh, people around the world celebrating uh, Hanukkah. Uh, first night of Hanukkah, I think, was last night. And so uh, it continues for seven more evenings, starting the, the second evening tonight. And I um, uh, look forward to talking to you next week, hopefully with really good news. So we'll talk to you soon. And that's this week's our weekly recap with Rick from the Nerve Center of the 2nd Congressional District here in the Everett office. Bye.